Oh, cool. A germ warfare booth. No way, mister. I don't want you coming home with anthrax like last year. Ah, oh, Mom. Quit coddling the boy. Just sprinkle a little Cipro on his hot dog. He'll be fine. Come on, sweetheart. Don't be afraid. Ah, you're worthless. Clear! <laughs> what have we here? Secret White House bunker? Secret Halliburton bunker? Satan? This is Dick Cheney's Blackberry. Sure, everyone knows the CIA invented crack and introduced it to the inner city, but what we never get credit for is malt liquor. Yes, that was us. Wow. Attention, the boring suit contest is about to begin. Oh, no. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Hello, Deputy Director Bullock. You're looking well. Uh, sir, you, you, you remember Haley, my uh, son's sister? Of course. I'm surprised they let you through security. I guess those scanners can't detect half-baked political ideology. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. As a cockroach, you'll actually survive the nuclear war you're working so hard to incite. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've already forgotten what she just said. That's right, little girl. Run along. Go play Ultimate Frisbee with your drum circle and leave politics to the adults. You know, I actually don't play Frisbee. <laughs> I guess the CIA got their intel wrong. Again. <laughs> Come back here, young lady. I want you to call my boss and apologize. Like hell I will. That started it. I love the passion in her performance. Unbelievable. I'm this close to a promotion and our darling little squeaky from decides to assassinate my career. You know, I wasn't sure about the squeaky from reference, but it's a smart joke and the fans have come to expect that from us. Well, Stan, according to Haley, Bullock was being a real jerk. Why didn't you stand up for her? What, are you kidding me? He's my boss. You know how much butt-kissing it's gonna take me to undo her damage? This scene really sets up the key conflict between... Klaus, what the hell are you doing? I'm pretending my life is a DVD and I'm doing the director's commentary. It's something to do while I'm waiting to die of fin rot. Smith. Morning, sir. I took the liberty of running a few errands for you. Oh, well, I shined your super large shoes, you stallion. And I picked up your prescription of Viagra. That's one lucky lady. Huh? 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 Here, let me bring these in for you. That's really not necessary. Haley? Oh, you must have come over to apologize. I mean, why else would you... You slept with my daughter? Well, to be perfectly honest, neither of us did very much sleeping. Oh, God, you shot him. He's dead. Somebody help. Don't shoot. I didn't see anything. I'm blind. Oh, okay. Smith? Yeah? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. You slept with my dog. Wait a minute. That guy wasn't blind. He saw my gun. Damn it! You slept with my daughter! Dad, please. You two should talk. Why don't I go find your pants? What the hell do you think you're... Look, Avery called to apologize for what he said at the carnival. We met for coffee and, well... I know it's crazy, but I like him. He challenges me. And besides, he has a huge... Penis! I mean, Haley! Damn it! I was trying to cut you off before you said... I was gonna say heart, but, well, you shined his shoes. Here we are. I hope this isn't a problem, old chum. If you think I'm just gonna stand by and let you... Promotion. What? Your promotion. I think it's time we start talking seriously about it. Oh, really? That's great. Oh, of course. 